Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, we're going to explore the four directions, the four primary directions, north, south, east, west, because they have a lot of um, correlations in Chinese uh, medicine and uh, uh, particularly in and in the martial arts, and particularly in Bagua, they uh, uh, that door seems to want to get open there, doesn't it? Um, I think it's because of the because of the oh the wind, the wind the pressure. Okay. okay. Anyway, so the uh, the four directions they correlate to uh, different elements and um, energies and internal organs and, and the like, and so. One of the key points in Bagua is it's a it's a relational martial art, and that it is relating, you know, to something outside. Whereas a a lot of what we do in Tai Chi Chuan, it's more happening internally. We're we're focused on our uh, internal state a lot of the time. Whereas in Bagua, there's a lot of expansion. There's an extension. And you're in relationship to the directions. You're in relationship to the uh, heaven and earth. Uh, you're uh, the yin and the yang. So it's more an extension outward. So we're going to take that principle and put it into a tidy trend con um, uh, context, and have we're going to do some work with the Pong Lu Ji on the ward off roll back, press, and push, and in relation to yin and yang, in relation to the uh, these four directions. And when we do that, we're expanding our field. So instead of really coming more and more internal, more and more directed internal than the nei shi, we also get into the wei shi with the expanding our awareness outward and we draw power from extending to poles in opposition uh, outside of ourselves and in relation there we we develop we create energy by establishing there's that door again so we're just gonna have to let that go Okay, so uh, it is windy conditions and it's yeah yeah okay so anyway so we have that um, we create this these poles in opposition there and we by doing so there's an energy flow from the from whatever it is that we are encountering be it a person or an object or whatever we establish this relation so in our practice we we want to hone our skill to ability to relate to something else you know, so to an other and and in doing that we can start we can also borrow energy from that we can eat the chi that is created by that relationship so when we talk about eating the chi we're talking about getting into a state of resonance with something or someone and feeling that that resonance the the energy that gets created by that relationship, and instead of resisting it, pushing it away, or dismissing it, or conceptualizing it, we actually want to feel it. We want to eat it. We want to metabolize that energy, and in so doing, then we become we able to process that energy and allows it to uh, the our internal state to expand. We actually have a a larger sense of being as a result of that that correlation there. So the in very practical terms, we're going to go to this to this very simple exercise where we're going to the different directions and we're going to feel into the different directions. And there will be some shift in as you as you turn the, you know, in different different way, different compass points, whether or not you're able to assign that to the compass direction or not doesn't matter what matters is oh there's just feeling into the moment and it isn't really necessary at this point to be able to discern the distinction between them just to be able to say oh okay i'm feeling something and uh, 
And just the process of doing it brings you more and more into the present moment. So why don't we stand up and uh, talking about that and let's get into uh, actual doing of it. Okay, so let's begin by um, uh, establishing our three pillars. And just getting that, getting that feeling there, because this is our where we begin our relationship, right? We're we're relating to the earth, feeling into that. So you feel the balls of your feet, your knees are unlocked. You're sinking down. You're allowing the energy to, to move down, down, down. You allow your body mass to sink. You're feeling the support of your structure so that you can say, okay, I'm letting go of any extraneous muscular tension as I'm doing this. And so by extending awareness downward and releasing downward, we're opening to the big chi to our feet. We're going to feeling the yin energy of the earth. And it moves. So it goes from yin to yang. So it's extending upward through the body and filling you <coughs> with this yin chi as we do this. We're extending down, 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 feeling that relaxing and releasing downward. Body's feeling heavier and heavier as we do that. So that that's the, the negative pole of the system here. Now we're going to reach with the crown of the head, tuck in the chin, open the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. And lengthen the spine the Dumai, it's uh, a big energy channel that runs along the spine. And we're lengthening that, and this allows for the energy to move. Reaching with the crown of the head establishes the, the positive pole of the system. That's the Yang Chi of the heavens is you're connecting up to that that's filling us with the with this yang energy and you can think of the yin chi is more substantial it's heavier it's denser yang chi is lighter it's more expansive but we want to eat the chi we go into resonance with that. We allow that in, allow that to circulate and do its thing. We're creating more space, more internal space to have that energy to come in and do a little dance. We're not hanging on to any of it, but it moves through. And the more capacity that we can create by creating this relationship, the bigger we get, the more we're able to handle more energy and circulate it throughout the system. Feel the index fingers and reach with those and lengthen, lengthen your arms open, reach out with your elbows, feel the chi in your hands. And eat that chi too. So it's not something other, but it's this is part of you now. This is how you're eating that chi, you're metabolizing it, becoming part of your system. And then you want to open the, the hip joints, you want to feel release the, the qua. You know, Bow forward from the hip joint, just feel that, just feel that, that connection there, right there at the inguinal crease. So you want to have that loose, open sung. You're sinking down, down, relaxing your butt muscles, relaxing your lower back. 
allowing your sacrum to drop, level out your, your pelvis as you do that. Reaching with the elbows opens up the shoulder joints. Okay, so we're eating this all this chi, just allowing it to circulate, allowing it to do its thing. So let's, I'm going to turn to the south. So just have some sense of the direction uh, of um, that your of your orientation, but I'm going to be we're going to be turning in four directions here. So it's uh, we're going to need some point of orientation. So you can have the uh, you can just make it up. You can say that south is the direction of your computer or monitor and, and look at it that way. But for me, I'm going to be looking. I'm going to be uh, facing south. And we're going to be facing different directions. So uh, what this does is since I'm looking south because this is summer and south is the direction of summer, it's the fire chi. So uh, allowing that to come in. And so you can remember this whenever you're practicing, you can uh, adjust your orientation accordingly. But the, by adjusting, by facing to the south, I'm going into resonance with the energy of the season, the, uh, the fire chi. And what that does is it feeds the heart. It, the fire chi feeds the heart. It creates this electricity. And then the emotion that's associated with the heart and with the fire chi is joy. So you want to feel, you want to feel this joy coming in, like you're filling up with this, this abundant chi that is expansive and joyful. Okay, so we're so I'm feeling here facing south. And then step out to the side a little bit. So we're gonna do really pared down motions here. I'm not terribly concerned about getting the choreography exact. It's just sort of a getting in the right direction. I'm talking specifically to the people checking this out on YouTube. Don't worry if you're not getting the movements exact because this is uh, we're uh, we're doing this primarily for the relationship and for the energy. So anyway, go to the balls of your feet and feel feel the energy of that. Feel the young expansive energy that comes with that. Feel it in your hands. You'll feel that that tingling there. You feel like electricity going through your arms. And this is that fire chi, it's filling you up. And then reach up with your wrists. And reach with your fingers and extend and you're opening. So you're reaching out now to the south. You're reaching out and extending. And as you reach out, you pull back a little bit with your body. You're still on the balls of your feet. You're pulling back with your body, and just so you're having this, this holes in opposition. You want to feel your back opening up, as between your scapula. You want to feel that expansion there as your arms connect up, and then sink into your heels, and feel the yin as your hands come down. Now sink into your right heel and spiral down to the right, the right hand, right wrist reaches up and you spiral down to the right. So your body is turning, you're releasing into the quad, you're sinking down and your left foot comes in. So all your weight is in your right foot. You're finding your central equilibrium in your right leg and you're just on the toe there of your left foot as you do that. We're gonna, but now we're gonna step out, heel, and then place your foot down, and just sink down into the left leg, and and then 
reach with your elbow and turn and put a ward off. You want your, your body to be really heavily in that front leg. So you it's a it's a fairly long posture. Note there's a it's it's not vertical now, it's there's a bit of a forward uh, uh, slant to the body and the you're reaching out with the with the, the left arm, the right hand there. So you're extending outward, but pulling back a little bit with the body as you do that. So you want to feel that. You're extending out and then, oh, pulling back a little bit as even as you sink down. So they're feeling these, these oppositions within your body. There we go. And, all right, here we go. So step out and go to your heels. Feel the balls of your feet. Feel the yang chi, feel that, that, and you feel the tingling in your arms and your hands, and reach with your wrists. Reach with your fingers, open your back, and feel that connection in your arms, go to your heels and reach down with your elbows, feel the yin, as your body sinks very soon, spiral down to the right, reach up with your wrists and step in with your left foot, you want to feel your central equilibrium now, we're back to the center point, which is earth in, in energy terms, so we're just feeling into that, feeling the reaching up with the crown of the head, so that I'm feeling that yang chi, but also sinking down into my right leg. And now I'm going to step out to the east, so that means 90 degrees. I'm going to be facing toward the east, set my knee, and then Spiral down to the left and then to the right and then turn to the left and go into a ward off posture. Okay, and so we're we're in this ward off posture and I want to reach out to the east. I want to feel that the energy of the east, which is wood energy. <laughs> that is so in the summertime, the two primary directions are south and east. So in this exercise, we're going to repeat those a few times. So we're feeling that extension there. You're heavily into the into the the left leg. Your body is is slanted. So you have that you have that directional thing there. You're pulling back a little bit from your hands with your body. So there's a there's a a bit of a uh, holes in opposition there. But there's also an extension. You're you're contacting something outside of you. You're meeting the east as a direction, and then open, sink into your right leg, and roll back. So feel into the down and in, the yin of that. So you get your left and press. Now, as I reach out toward the east, I'm also feeling the west behind me. Feeling these points of orientation. So there's an expansion going on here that as I'm aware of my extension in front of me, I'm also aware of my shadow behind me. And I'm feeling that, that press energy and then sink into my heels, my right heel, and go into my push.
reaching out toward the east, feeling that that pull out there, as if my hands are being pulled by the east. And sink into your right heel and turn. Pivot on your left heel as you do that, and then turn back to the left. Bring your right foot in. So back, we're back to central equilibrium. Back to the, to centered over my left leg. Back to earth. Now we step out to the south. We've gone 90 degrees here. We're, we're stepping back to the south and we're going to reach out to the south now. We're going to meet the south. At the same time, I'm feeling my shadow there, the north behind me. As I meet that fire chi coming in, the water chi is behind me. I sink into my right leg, into my left leg, and turn and roll back. Feel that. Down and in, that yin flow of that energy. But within that yin, there's also a yang. There's an extension there. My arms are reaching out. And then sink in my right leg and turn and press. Here I'm gathering with my right hand. And my right hand is, is yin, it's pulling in. My left hand is reaching out, it's, it's yang. And those two poles in opposition are creating a compression. I'm reaching to the south, feeling the north behind me. And I sink into the left leg. Feel the compression there. You're pushing down with your hands, but there's you're meeting the energy there below. The, it's like you're pushing down on a beach ball in a swimming pool. You're, but I'm going to sink into that right leg and push. Sink into your left leg and turn. We're going back to the east. Pivot. And sink into your right leg. Bring your left toe in, back to center. Step of the heel. And ward off, reaching out to the east now. Feeling the west behind you. Feel the, as you're, extending your awareness out in these different directions. Notice how your anchor points, your, your, uh, your space gets bigger. Reach and sink. Roll back. And press. Reaching to the east, feeling the west behind you. The west is metal. And the metal is pulling me back now. And then back to wood, reaching out. Put your right heel and turn. And then Turn back to your left. Step in with your right foot. And back to center again. We're centering up here. And the feel into the, the neutrality of this posture. Wood is everything and nothing. It, it, it includes all the elements and then, but also is kind of the, the pivot point run that all of them work with. Just want to feel into that, feel that, feel your center. Now we're going to go back to the uh, uh, 
actually we're going to go to we're going to go to 180 degrees over to the west. We're in the we're in the east now. We're going to now turn and step over to the to the west now. Bring the heel, push your knee out, sink, and then turn and ward off. You feel that you're extending now, reaching out to the west. So the metal energy is is dominant there. Behind you is the wood. So the east is, is at your back, it's your shadow. And turn and roll back. Get yourself pulled back by the big wood. Sink. Press. Feel yourself just relaxing, getting very sung into this posture. Feel into your body, but also expand your awareness to fill the room. Sink into your left leg. And pause here, just feel into that. Feel into the potentiality of the, of the energy at this point. Sink into your right leg. And push. You're reaching out to the west. Get in the east behind you. The north to the right, your south to the left. And stick in your left and turn. Take in your right, step in, and hold, feel that center of equilibrium back to the center again. And step forward with your left foot to the south. So we're going back 90 degrees to your left, to the south. Ward off. Feel the yang expansion of this posture. At the same time, you're feeling the yin sinking into your into your 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 foundation, feeling your root. Through and roll back. Pause here. Feel yourself orienting to all the all the points in the compass right now. Just feel that orientation. Feel that all that energy is eating that chi. As you expand and you go into a conscious relationship with these different points. It allows you to, to establish a relationship and an energy that with that. Um, I'm going to press and hold that. Feel the expansiveness of press, feel the yang. Separate, sink. Yeah, the potentiality of the on. Feel your hands, feel the field that's being projected out of 
the palms of your hands right now. The energy is not coming entirely within you. You are a conduit for the big chi. You're allowing, you're using your mind to direct the big chi, reach forward. Sink into that left leg, feel that, relax into that. Sink into your right leg and turn. Sink into your left, turn back, step in with your right, your right foot and feel your center of equilibrium. Feel the earth. Now we're going to be going 180 degrees to the north now. So we're going to spiral down to the left and step out with the right foot and really open wide here. Push your right knee out, set that. And then turn, pivot on your left heel and ward off with the right arm here and Facing the north. So the north is the water chi. At my back in the shadow is the fire. So here I am, I'm taking in the water chi. And it's what helps to amplify that the joy of the fire. And turn and roll back. Pause and just feel into the potentiality in your arms and your legs, circulating through your whole body. Feel yourself, feel filling the room. Feel the room meeting you. Feel the four directions meeting you. And then press. Now feel as though they you're get, you're pulling back on a rubber band here, or you know, big big tension band, and you're gonna catapult your chi out there toward the north. You're pulling back and feeling that the pull in opposition here, as you pull back, is the north itself. That's by doing this, you're pulling back the you got the the south behind you, and then the fire chi behind you, and then as you sink into the right leg, then the energy shoots out, goes through you to the north. Step up to your left foot. Hands come down, sink, hands come up, and go to cross hands and feel the yang of this posture. But feel the four directions as you do it. You're facing north now, but the south is behind you. It's animating everything. The wood from the from the east is expanding, opening. The metal from the west is, is contracting, it's bringing down. All those energies are moving through you simultaneously as you stand in this neutral posture. They're feeling the expansiveness of the yang as you do that. You're being opened. Now separate your hands. Feel the potentiality of that. Sink into your heels, reach down to your elbows, and feel the yin. Now 
like water going down a drain or chi is spiraling down, down, down through the balls, you through the, uh, the bubbling well points in your feet. Feel the fullness in your body as you do that. Even though you're emptying out, there's still a, uh, a fullness there, par paradoxically. And the nature chi fills you up. You step in, the left foot. Deep breath. Gather, 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 feel young expansion. Filling, filling, filling. And now sink into your heels and let it all go, throw it away. Dissolve into the emptiness. Please have a seat. How'd that go? Good, good. Any thoughts, questions, complaints, criticisms? Anything you'd like to share with the people? That uh, your personal experience that uh, people on uh, on the YouTube would uh, like to hear. Lynn. Well, I don't know if the people on YouTube want to hear it, but I loved it. Um, <clears throat> um, this was the first time. So I never have tightness in my shoulders until you say, feel your back. And then <laughs> I go tight right there in some sort of wrong reaction. Um, and this time I felt this a little bit lower than the actual shoulder blades, but I felt this incredible warmth just like from the first time when you said, you know, pull back. You said when you said, you know, pull back with your body while your hands are. I just had this like big band of warmth across mm. the back there. And it just stayed for the whole well, session, just being warm and cozy, you know. I felt uh Cool. really 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 powerful and just like it was um a little just i, I don't know like uh yeah I, I almost like um in a good way a corset right you know a support yeah you know girding me support right perfect yeah cool. yeah so that was lovely <laughs> well, thank you everybody else Valerie. Well, <clears throat> I got her shoulders in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I usually feel, you know, quite a bit of, of chi, you know, tingling and, and all of that in my hands. And they just feel incredibly warm right now, markedly. I mean, it, it's, I don't know what is so different about this, the sensation, but it's different. And so mm. that's cool. That is cool. <laughs> cool. Richard. Um, 
is there is there a preferred um, pattern or order of the directions from one to the next? Yes. Yes. So, so this is uh, we're facing south because it's summer, and we're uh, for the Chinese calendar, even though we haven't quite caught up with the Gregorian calendar yet. But the uh, uh, so we're facing that to to uh, to gather that 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 yang chi of the of the summer. So we start facing that. We turn to the east, back to the south, back to the east, over to the west, back to the south, over to the north. So it's it goes southeast. South, east, west, south, south, north. north. Okay. okay. So it, and then as as the season shifts, you go uh, and turn it to, you know, west becomes, a, in the fall, west becomes your dominant uh, okay. thing. So west and south then become the, uh, the, the two uh, primary directions. Okay. That. And okay. so the fire is feeding the metal and then so and then for winter it's you know metal is feeding the the uh the water okay well th thank thank you as someone who thinks too much about everything i appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> well it it it's based on like observational you know it's like okay we if you do it this way there there is a definite um energy that gets created from that okay thank you yeah cool uh anybody else yeah lynn oh go ahead and let scott's got something scott um <clears throat> yeah i don't have <laughs> i don't have a lot of uh description of what happened but it was you know feeling the different energies and feeling them in concert was definitely, you know, feeling all of them at once it was definitely really very cool. Definitely, right. um, yeah. I don't like. I said I don't have a lot of, a lot of words, but it was cool. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. So there's, you know, it follows in the, you know, the Chinese medical model. You know, we have the the four seasons, and uh, and so each of them has their own element and. And so we're just fitting in with the, the Bagua, which has, you know, the different, the eight directions plus the, uh, the uh, heaven and earth. And so there's these points of orientation, expand your field. And in practice, Bagua has, you, you know, your, your awareness is all is 360. And then actually more than that, because you've got up and down as well. So you become more of a spherical uh, awareness that that. So we did that. We took that same stuff and put a more of a familiar form that we're you know we're used to doing. That is doing it with the Pong Lu Ji An and getting that. So we're starting to cultivate this sense of of direction. It took me a long time to come to that myself. You know, I really didn't get the whole directional thing for a long time. It it was so insubstantial that I you know, had a hard time getting some purchase there. It was like, you know, what, what, what's going on here? But uh, it, I had to kind of sneak in through the back door by becoming aware, more aware of the individual elements as things in themselves, be able to feel, you know, metal energy, to be able to feel fire energy, you know, and, and, and wood, you know. And so the different different elements then, you know, once I was able to do that, then it's like, oh, okay, start to put that together with the directions. And then the, the distinction start to become more prominent in my my awareness. But it was a, uh, you know, it was a, uh, a super conscious awareness rather than a just a, a rational one. You have to kind of, you have to feel it rather than think it. Cool. Anybody else? Yeah, Lynn. Well, this is a question. Um, 
we, I don't remember where we picked it up, but we have a practice of doing Peng Lu Jian and you do a 90 degree turn and then a 180 degree turn and then a 90 degree turn and 180 degree turn. And you just, you know, it's a practice of just keeping that going, you know, as sort of a energetic and meditative uh, practice. Um, and I cool. wonder how, um, I'm just kind of thinking about like, it seemed like the energies worked very particularly, you know, you have the different directions that you want that we went here to right. fit with the, uh, oh. the energies of the season. Um, do you think that the other one is not a good, not, not, not a good idea? I mean, I guess I'm just thinking about it would be better to replace it with thinking about the seasons each time and, and the energies or. Sure. Sure. But, but the other one is sounds like a great exercise. And it, if you just have that awareness of direction, you add that to it, you just start out with an orientation point, you know, right. and then, then you say, okay, well, uh, how can I adapt this to make it even better? Right. You know, and you start to, yeah. uh, yeah. But it's, uh, what you're already doing is terrific. Yeah. It it seems like the the dominant direction of the season uh, is an important aspect. I think that that's true within Chinese medicine in general and Chinese martial arts. So right. being able to to get that, so having that as a you know, as just adding that to your your kung fu. That and so <laughs> just like, add it. Just add it on. <laughs> just add just add add it in there. Just and then you start to practice it while you're walking down the street. You know, it's like, oh, what direction am I, you know, am I going in right now? Just having that awareness, then it opens up your space. It opens up your 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 connection with your environment, with nature, and you you start to to develop this, uh, uh, you know, you know what do they call it? Dead reckoning, that ability right. to 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 know where the what's west what's what's north you know being able to just be able to sense it you know you start to you know we lose by being city dwellers we lose a lot of the that the awareness that comes with with you know just like oh okay yeah that, that's north you know uh, we lose that and i think that there is an innate knowingness there that we can reawaken to some advantage, just by including that, just by you know having that as another option, that you have that sense of awareness, and and so doing, you're also expanding your your field by doing it. Cool. Anybody else? Great. Okay, let's uh, let's, uh, let's end off here. Uh, thank you all so much, and uh, see you next week. Bye bye. Thanks so much. Bye, Thanks, bye everyone. Thank Thanks you, Maria.